All right, uh, what's what's different for you? I mean, it's the same arena, same uh, arena, pretty much the same facilities, but, but what's changed? Uh, pretty much like it's just teammates, uh, coaches, coaching staff, and uh, yeah, just uh, the style of play, you know, just learning a new system. Uh, for me, man, it's the same same atmosphere, and I feel it's the same once I step out there on the court. That's got to be easier, right? It's just got to, like, for most guys that are away from home, they're, they're living in a new place, and you're moving around. I mean, for you, what's that like? I mean, it's great, I mean, like you said, being here, you know, getting better as a as a player, in, you know, in front of people that have seen me develop uh, throughout the years, my family, even some of the fans, it's a, it's a great opportunity for me. Everybody says that, that your path is probably defense first, but the way the game's being officiated at the NBA has changed a lot just this year with the freedom of movement stuff. How much more challenging does that make it when you can't kind of do it the way Tony was doing it a couple of years right. ago? I mean, it makes it tougher just seeing uh, how aggressive I play on the defensive end. So more now it's more of, of, of a mind thing, learning the angles and uh, you know, just playing a little bit between uh, the defense and the refs, playing with the refs a little bit. And uh, basically for me, just learning how to, to be more of a, a smart defender. Do you have a strategy with that? Do you try and talk talk the officials up a little bit? Uh, you know, I just try to you know, be on everybody's side once I'm out there besides the opposing team. So, you know, whenever I can get uh, the rest on our side, it, it should be a big deal. Marco, how's the camaraderie, camaraderie been so far? Uh, it's, it's been well. Uh, the guys, you know, really like learning from each other. We love being around each other, and uh, you know, everybody's already gelling, and you know, we're ready for the first game. What's it like playing with DJ Stephens? What's it like playing with DJ Stephens? What's it like playing with a rocket? Uh, a human rocket? I don't know. Uh, it's crazy, you know. Since I didn't get the chance to play with him uh, at Memphis, you know, like I said, in high school, you know, we grew up watching guys like that and uh, wanting to play for that team. So now I'm getting a chance to play with him, even though I played with a little bit of summer league. But now I'm being a teammate throughout the years. I think it's going to help me develop my game and I can learn a lot from it. To have two Memphis guys be back playing together, just what does that mean to as someone who's, who's been here before and to have that opportunity for the city? Uh, like you said, for the city, it's a, it's a big step for the city. And uh, it's always good when those you know, local guys could you know, keep, keep the legacy going through, uh, through Memphis and playing with you know, whatever teams that are hometown team. So I think that's the best thing going. What do you feel like you have to show offensively? So offensively, uh, this my, my consistency shooting. And uh, just being a leader, uh, just for me, man, just, just like you said, being a leader out there, just showing I'm more of a defensive player.